Hello brothers, I am delighted to be invited by Touch a Foundation, Touch a Life Foundation to speak on World Kindness Day. Let me first introduce myself. I am Dr. Aran Singh, an orthopedic surgeon practicing in Patna, which is a state capital of Bihar, India, one of the states of India. I am graduated my medicine in 1970 from Patna Medical College Hospital and in 1976 I after doing my post graduation in orthopedics I went to UK there I stayed for more than five and a half years and did my fellowship from Royal College of Surgeons Edinburgh and my master's degree in orthopedics from University of Liverpool but I had great desire come back to our my country and so I did and in 1982 I came back to India where I started my orthopedic practice as an orthopedic surgeon. Day passed on and when I came to India I found that the people of this place needed help in all respects of their life. For example it's not orthopedics only but there were so many other aspects where people were really in need of help. I personally feel that you have to be kind to the people in, around which you live, in your environment that you live. And once I say that what is kindness, I must explain that kindness is nothing but a nature, the nature of any human being to be kind. And it's not only for the fellow human beings, you may be kind to animals, your pets, even dogs and cats which is your pets. And there are so many people who are very kind to animals, they are very kind to nature. So the kindness is one of the internal things that a human being has. And it is very important that you should be kind enough to your fellow beings, whoever are there. And usually people are looking for somebody who could be kind to them to make their life a little better, a little better, a little better. And here, if you have developed, the sincerely you have developed the kindness in yourself, it will be it is a really pleasure. And I always think that to be kind to people who are suffering must be one of the part of your lives. I tell you once, what happened once I went to see a blind school known as Antar Jyoti Valuka Vidyalaya, which is based uh, about 2-3 kilometers from my residence. And there I found that there were about 80-90 blind girls. They were in a dark room and they were sitting in a row to have their food. And because they are blind, they couldn't see that the flies are there all over the, on their food. Once I saw that, it really shook me and I thought, that I must do something for this small kids who are really blind and they can't see things that being there in so bad way. I joined this institute. And since then, right from 1990, I am associated with this particular school that is Antar Jolika Jyoti Balika Vidyale, and I made it a point that I must improve the quality of life of these girls. Today, we have got about 120 inmates in the, of the school. It's a boarding school. And we, are, we have developed so much that uh, now there is a, the, the hutment has been removed and a concrete structure is there. There is one floor, the school runs, and this, uh, the second floor on the first floor is the hostel. And there are some dining halls and kitchen at the topmost floor. So ultimately, we have decided we, we, with the help of local people, we improve the status of that school so much so that now a lot of people come to help us that this school is one which needs help. Now, I must say where from this institute came because that school was running for the last 15-20 years. There were people who were kind enough to run that school. But when I went there, I saw the sad plight of the uh, girls, I decided to help. This kindness which came to me, or the, the internal uh, aspirations that came to me to help them, 
is i think is from god lately by good luck of the girls as well as mine lot of people associated are associated with this uh, blind school and now uh, say with the anita uh, from us and simati kavita uh, from california us again they are there to help us so much that i think our goal is going to be there what is our goal that's very important to realize once i was thinking that i am spending more than 1 lakh rupees per month to pay the uh, annual or sorry monthly salary of the teachers i thought that if i am no no more here in on this earth what will happen to this school what will happen to these teachers i decided to have a endowment fund of nearly 3 crores of rupees in indian terms which will fetch us minimum 150 uh, uh, lakhs rupees 1 1.5 lakhs rupees per month which will be good enough to at least run this there are so many people in the society who donate foods but that's not enough because the teachers who are teaching there they require uh, uh, at least their uh, monthly salary and that needs to be in cash so i decided to have a corpus fund of at least minimum 3 crores of rupees which anita punj from us and susan sohan foundation from us they help us and ultimately i must tell you that with their help and with the help of the local people now i am approaching that particular uh, goal of 3 crores of rupees so that it can be put in fixed deposit in the bank and the interest of that can come into the account of the school so that there can be surplus flow of the money at least for the salary payment of the students now at the same time it's also important to develop the school in the form of because the girls who are passing from there after 9th or 10th or o level or a level they require some sort of training to make their life useful in the society and that's why we need to have something like a, a vocational training for those blind girls there are certain um, vocational uh, environment we should create so that they know what to do in their life for that we require a lot of help to uh, develop that surroundings develop the buildings and others so still there are a lot of works to be done in that blind school apart from that blind school i am also associated with the artificial limb centers because in india a lot of people are disabled by way of accidents in the train or road traffic accidents and then artificial limbs is so costly the computerized artificial limbs and others so costly that they, everybody cannot afford so therefore jaipur foot project we have developed and that jaipur foot uh, the outlet of one of the jaipur foot is here in patna under my uh, guidance and this jaipur foot provides artificial limbs to all the needy people free of cost when they come because you, as you know these artificial limbs are i either becomes non functional or is uh, broken in 2 to 3 years therefore new artificial limbs is regularly required therefore it is not a one time service it is a regular service that has to be provided to the people so artificial limbs i am also associated with uh, orphanages and uh, lately most of my orphanages girls have uh, either settled or they have been married only four or five are there in my orphanage and some of them who have done their graduation from that orphanage they are employed in my hospital uh, because they, they they are qualified enough and they, they need some some job therefore we can always accommodate them and i have accommodated three or four or five orphanage girl, orphan girls in my hospital uh, by giving them their employment and gradually they are they select their uh, choice and they get married and they set their families so brothers the kindness comes from within and you have to develop the habit of giving and giving habit of giving is to make yourself habit of giving give 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 that's very important the kindness is one thing which only in three situations people come to you for anything for example the first is when somebody has got the nature of coming to you and asking for help this is not required but he comes and 
tells you that I should need this, I should need this. That's one in the nature. The another, when you are powerful enough to support or give help to somebody and somebody will come to you for a wrong uh, uh, thing to ask for help. For example, that there is some job to be done which is not right. In that situation also, and the third situation when the patient come, or people come to you is they really require help. They really require help. It should be your jurisdiction, decision, and you should think that who needs help. And if you think that this person needs help, you should be kind enough to help him, and you should be obliged to Almighty God that He has given you this uh, situation or given the opportunity to help people. Kindness is one thing that one must not forget and it is one of the things that is a very big gift from God because God has created this world. It has created so many things. It has created mankind, it has created animals, it has created nature, the trees and plants and you have to be kind to everybody. If you destroy your nature, I mean environment, you have to suffer. If you destroy your animals around, that you have to suffer because the ecology is, is disturbed and ultimately all every problem comes to you. So my dear friends, I have spoken enough on this issue. Be kind enough to give me any suggestion if at all you require. Thank you very much.